while the Hollywood movie sequel, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, was filming in downtown Cleveland and blowing up. <laughs> drivers from the west side were giving up. Detroit Avenue looked a mess heading into downtown. It's probably going to be the same heading in. Stay to your right, stay to your right lane. Gridlock that even a superhero couldn't handle. All the traffic is slow and it's all backed up. I mean, what do you expect? It's going to be a long two weeks. Not even Captain America can save us. Traffic on the first day of the West Shoreway shutdown and Sky Fox captured tens of thousands of drivers in detours and delays. I can't deny it. Rush hour ran approximately an hour and 15 minutes long. It'll be that way for the next two weeks. The shoreway closed between Lake Avenue and East 9th Street in both directions. When you come down 25th Street, like when you normally get on the shoreway, you come to turn left onto Detroit, you can't turn. Well, I think we put it out there early enough to let people know that they needed to be prepared for today's changes. Yes, now the West Shoreway is not completely closed. There is a small stretch, and I do mean small, that is open. That is from the West 49th Street to Edgewater Park and Whiskey Island, and it's open in both directions. I drove this once already to make sure I wouldn't have a problem. On top of that, other roads remain closed for filming. So getting in and out of downtown from the west side for the next two weeks will be tricky. We want to try Lorraine Avenue. Uh our whole goal today and our whole goal tomorrow and our whole goal in traffic is to at least keep people moving as much as possible. I-90, you're backed up. Into in Cleveland, Melissa Reed, Fox 8 News.